Hey guys, welcome to my second episode of Spirituality Talk with Sabina. Uh, I've been really wanting to do another spirituality talk. Uh, I just had a lot on my mind that I wanted to share and uh, there's just been a lot in the media. I don't really look at the media very much. Uh, it's very negative and it can really bring you down, but I do a little bit of scrolling, you know, for to uh, learn about the, what's going on in my field and just generally get some inspiration. But I just keep seeing so many posts and stories about how to make money quickly and how to look beautiful and how to, well, and things to buy, of course. I mean, the entire media, internet is just flooded with just things to purchase. Uh, and it just really, it affects my mind so much. Um, and it's really so much against spirituality. So that's when I kind of will back away from Instagram and Facebook and the news. And I barely read the news and I'll go to my spiritual teachings to kind of calm me down. So tonight I wanted to actually continue on with the, the theme of finding your purpose. Um, I think that a lot of people have the purpose of just making money. It just seems like that's what every other story, how, how to make money fast, how to make a passive income, how to make money just come your way with no effort on your part. And that's really against what spirituality teaches. Spirituality teaches that money is a reward of service. So that comes uh, as, as a byproduct of the service that you provide your fellow man. It isn't the focal point of what you're doing. It should actually just be kind of an afterthought. It should actually just come on its own. So how do you reconcile that? How do you reconcile needing money and wanting money in your life, but not focusing on it as a, as the primary goal? So the way that spirituality would, would teach or you to do or what to do is to focus on what you want, what you want to do. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and look at a quote since I'm kind of stumbling over my words on this spirituality talk a little bit. Um, I don't want to redo it. I want it to be authentic. So I just want to keep talking it's kind of stream of consciousness, even if I don't sound super polished. Um, yeah. So the secret of the ages, I think is a great reference for, for this topic. Um, he says, that it is not will but desire says charles w mears that rules the world but you will say i have had plenty of desires all my life i've always wanted to be rich how do you account for the difference between my wealth and position and power and that of the rich men all around me the answer is simply that you have never focused your desires into one great dominating desire you have a host of mild desires. You mildly wish you were rich. You wish you had a position of responsibility and influence. You wish you could travel at will. The wishes are so many and varied that they conflict with each other and you get nowhere in, in particular. You lack one intense desire to the accomplishment of which you are willing to subordinate everything else. So being really specific is important. But how do you get there? So I actually pulled out a journal that I started in 2016. Um, it was pretty far into my spiritual journey. So by now I was really thinking in a, on a spiritual track and I, but it was before the hats. Um, I had just started learning tennis. Um, I hadn't started learning the violin. I hadn't started working on my art. Um, hadn't even started exercising yet. So it was very, very early on in my transformation, which is very cool because it just kind of shows what I was thinking at the time. And journaling, by the way, is 
very recommended in many spiritual books. Um, not so much in like the ancient teachings, but in books, more modern books that it help interpret the ancient text and help guide us on how to use spirituality. It journaling or just writing down anything that comes to your mind is just it's a really good way to clarify your thoughts, to get to know yourself, to see themes and patterns um, in your ideas, uh, it, to know what you want. Um, if you keep writing something down over and over again, then it starts to feel like, hmm, this isn't just a passing thought or desire. It, this is something that I that is really connecting with me, so I should pay attention to it. Um, so that's why I, in the book, there's a book called The Artist's Way that recommends doing morning pages so she i mean she's really strict about it she wants you to sit down every morning and write three pages of stream of consciousness just longhand whatever and she says it could be as dumb as a two-year-old of what a two-year-old would write and it could be angry it could be frustrating it could be you know just aimless just anything that comes to mind and she i mean she's it's like a major requirement in that book so um, I did a lot of journaling early on. Now I've, I'm just, I kind of use it when I need to, but, uh, it did help me and I did do a lot of journaling. Yeah. I mean, at the, before I, before I found the hats and, um, a great way to start is just to write down random words, just things that, that connect with you, that you like, um, you know, I wrote down, I want acceptance, appreciation, intimacy, gardens, beautiful views, peace, tranquility, books, learning, music, family, good friends, security, freedom, good health, love and intimacy. I mean, these are just words that just came to my mind of things that I would like in my life. And a lot of them I didn't have, uh, definitely didn't have love. And intimacy at this time I was still deep <laughs> in my unhappy marriage but um, I think it's important with spirituality to have an open mind and to allow yourself to want things that seem impossible at the time which <laughs> a lot of this was seemed truly impossible in 2016 I mean I didn't get divorced until I didn't even move out, I think, until 2020. So this was still like four years before I moved out. I mean, this was like probably like some of the worst time of my marriage, but I just allowed myself to dream basically. And I just didn't, I kept my mind open. I didn't give up on the things that I wanted from life, even though I, I couldn't see how they were going to come about. Uh, I didn't need to, I just needed to want them. So allowing yourself that, allowing yourself to dream big, you know, just being open to, to the possibility of anything in your life, that's very spiritual. Uh, and writing it down makes it real in a way. I mean, you're not gonna immediately write something down and then have it the next day. I definitely didn't get um, intimacy like the next day, but um, it's, I mean, it's definitely much more, you know, realistic today than it was four years ago, um, 2016, now it's 2022. So that's more like six years ago. I'm, I'm way closer to having these things in my life uh, than I was at that time. So yeah, I think that if you're looking for your purpose, um, it's a great place to start by just writing, just writing anything, any random word of anything that you want in your life. And, uh, and then it kind of starts to shape itself um, into a career path, perhaps into a relationship path, into a path with your health, um, your family. I mean, don't hold back, you know, that's the thing. We're so, we're so used to being realistic and practical 
and we don't want to get disappointed. So we don't even allow ourselves. I mean, I certainly didn't allow myself to even think that some of these things were possible for me. I was just kind of following like a, a general realistic path of what I could expect from my life, you know, retirement uh, at 65, you know, a decent income, you know, these just basic things that um, really weren't about me. They were just more like what my, what I was raised with and what society kind of said that you should want from your life. You really have to step out of all that. Uh, if you want to find your purpose, you have to be really in touch with yourself and block out all the noise about make money fast and look beautiful and marry a rich guy uh, that looks like Brad Pitt or, you know, I mean, you have to just kind of like go within yourself. There's a quote from the movie, The Secret, that when when your inner voice becomes louder than you're out than the voices outside of you then you've mastered your life and so it it's not easy to get to hear that inner voice um and writing and spending time alone can help you hear it and that inner voice is where you're going to find your purpose it's not going to you're not going to find it talking to your friends or listening to your family or you know from people at work you you have to find that within yourself it's it's an extremely it's a deeply personal individual thing um and you might have hints of it from your childhood or it could be something completely new and unexpected that you discover later in life uh so i mean i just yeah i think it's i just look at this journal and it's just the more i wrote is like the bigger the dreams got um, and then once I had the idea of the hat, um, I really just, that came around October. So I started the journal in January and it was kind of about what I wanted my future, my life to look like vaguely. But then once I had the idea of the hat, then it started to just revolve around a hat business and what I wanted to do with my hat business. And I just, I dreamed so big. And at this point, I mean, it was like international hat company, uh, vacation homes, foreign real estate, you know, um, millions of dollars. So, I mean, money can be there, but it just has to be kind of like worked in, not the focus. Um, because we do need money and there's, and my, Spirituality doesn't say anything bad about money. In fact, there's, I'm going to have, I have a lot of quotes on that, but, um, yeah, it was once, once I got the idea of the hats, it really, everything started to revolve around that. And this, I just want to point out that in 2016, I just literally had a, a drawing. That's all I had. I had no prototype. I didn't know what material I was going to use. I didn't know how I was going to make the hats, who was going to make the hats, because I've never made anything in my life. So I didn't think I was going to make the hats. It's like, no way. And I have a 7-Eleven to run, so I'm just going to have somebody else make them, and I'm just going to do this on the side. And, you know, it'll just be a fun little project on the side. I never thought that here I would be six years later making the hats myself. Um, and I never thought they would be this good, to be honest with you. Um, they look a lot better than I could have ever imagined. So yeah, let me go back to another quote. Um, it's just really important. Yeah, there's a lot of quotes about the importance of focusing on one idea at a time. Uh, so there's this quote I love. The people who live in beautiful homes, who have plenty to spend, who travel about in yachts and fine cars are for the most part people who started out to accomplish some one definite thing. They had one clear goal in mind and everything they did centered on that goal. So uh, from that, I mean, first of all, that, that made it so attainable to me. The fact that, oh, it's just, it's just about having an idea and focusing on that idea. Um, so it was like, okay, I've got my idea. So now 
in order to make my dream life come true, all I have to do is keep focusing on it. So that was, I mean, and it, it seemed very, it was very attainable. It was very like doable. It wasn't like, oh, I needed venture capital and I needed to have the right connections and I needed uh, special training. It was like, no, I just, all I need is an idea of some way to serve my fellow man and I just need to focus on it. Uh, and that's what I did. That's basically what I've done for the last six years. Uh, I still don't have the dream life, but it's way closer than it was six years ago. I mean, I was definitely in not even close to having a dream life then. I was kind of in hell, actually. Um, so, yeah, I would say that when it comes to your purpose, just to recap, I want to keep these talks around 15 minutes. Uh, get to know yourself. You know, do that through journaling, through cutting out pictures from magazines. And allow yourself to just to just dream big and just explore your imagination. Don't hold back. I mean, there's no reason to limit your dreams. Why? I mean, why limit yourself? You know, it's just a dream, so it doesn't come true. So what? You still have a right to have the dream. And focus, try to focus your thoughts. Eventually, they'll focus on one idea. And once you have your idea, you keep your clear goal in mind you've found you've kind of formed the nucleus of your purpose um it's really important not to change your mind constantly and have like one idea today and another one tomorrow and another one next week you need to stick with your one idea and just keep working on that idea and yeah it's going to evolve and shift and change i mean the hats are nothing like what i thought they would be but the essential part of them is still there the fact that they're waterproof, the, the the way they work is still there. They just don't look anything like I thought they would. They look way better. Uh, so yeah, I think that that should be a good uh, ending point for my second spirituality talk. I can't believe it's already been 17 minutes. Hopefully this has, isn't too boring for you, but I mean, the time goes really fast for me. I really love this topic. And I would love to hear and read your comments and I hope that you have a wonderful evening.